Hello, good day and greetings to you all in the precious name of Jesus. I'm Minister Dred, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. You know, we serve a mighty, awesome God, a God who will not leave us and a God that will never forsake us. This day, I want to pray for everyone who is listening to the sound of my voice on this channel. With everything that is happening in our world today, some may be feeling a sense of weariness and tiredness. I just want to encourage you in the word of God not to give up for God is still on the throne. You know, in the book of Psalms 61, reading verse 1 to verse 3, it says, Hear my cry, O God. Attend to my prayer. From the end of the earth, I will cry to you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been a shelter for me, a strong tower from the enemy. Praise be to the name of Jesus. You know, here we have David in, the, in this particular Psalms. He's crying out to God. And we all know the story of David, how David had to go through so many different um, obstacles in life and faced so many enemies. Um, but nevertheless, David took courage in, in the Lord because he knew the God that he served. And David never gave up on God. He just kept on crying out to God. And here we have in the scripture, David said, hear my cry, O Lord, attend to my prayer. So whether it was it, he voiced his, it, it was a, a vocal utterance to God or whether it was a silent prayer to God, we know that God, it does not matter to God because God will still hear our cry. He says from the end of the earth, from the end of the earth, it doesn't matter where you are right now and where you are located, whether you're standing or lying down or, or sitting, whether you're in your bed or in your home or in your vehicle or um, at, at the grocery store, it doesn't matter what activity you're, you're presently involved in right now. It doesn't matter where you are. God is still there because he is the omnipresent God. He, God is everywhere. And he will hear your cry if you could just cry out to him like David did. David said, when my heart is overwhelmed, when my heart is overwhelmed and that overwhelm mean your heart is just covered. It's like your heart is um, enveloped with sadness and, and distress and, and it's burdened and, and your heart is so um, is heavy and it seems as if you're at your wit's end and you're just full of pain and, and you're hurting and you're saying, God, my heart is overwhelmed. I have no solution to my situation. With everything that is going on around me that is happening in this world and it's affecting me greatly, I cannot depend on, upon myself. I just cannot depend upon my job right now. Everything just doesn't seem to be working out the way I thought it would work out. I just don't have any de dependency upon my friends. Hey, my friends may be going through the same thing that I'm, I'm going through, you know, or even maybe some of them are maybe even going worse through worse than what I'm going through. And I can't even uh, call to them for help. I can't even call to them because they need to call out to someone one for help as well. And I'm saying to you today that when you cannot depend on your own self and when you cannot depend on, uh, on, on, on the aid of your friends and, and the aid of your, the government, and even when your job has failed you, there's no more job, there's closure and shutdown and lockdowns. And it just seems just overwhelming to you. David is sad when my heart is overwhelmed. He said, lead me to the rock. The rock is a place of safety and security. And we know who that rock is. That rock is Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus, who is your cornerstone. And the word of God says the name of the Lord. It is a strong tower where the righteous 
they run into it and they are saved. And even our God, he has given us an invitation to call upon him. He says, call upon me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that you know not. God wants us to call upon him. Don't shy away from calling upon him. Even in time of your weakness, he will give you that strength that you need. In sorrow, he is the one that will comfort you. And I'm asking you today, are you broken? Do you have a contrite heart? heart. God is there to pardon you today. He's inviting us to call upon him. David says, David said, hear my cry, O Lord, and attend unto my cry, my prayer from the end of the earth. I will cry to you. And that is the same posture God wants our heart to take right now, wherever you are, you can cry out to God. And I know he will hear you because we serve a good God, a God that cares for his own, a God that will never leave or forsake his people. And for those that don't may not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, he's saying, come on to me today. He's saying that I am the way I am the truth. And I am the life. Only him alone can give you life. And only him alone can give you that rest. And only him alone can give you peace and security. So don't um, forfeit um, that this, that opportunity to seek him. Um, I believe the songwriter said, oh, oh, what pain we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Be um, encouraged that you can take everything to God in prayer. Be encouraged that you can call upon him today and he will hear your cry from the depths of your heart. All you need to do is just surrender your will to him. And all you need to do is just come to him and say, here I am, Jesus. Here I am. I need you. I need one touch from you. One touch from you can, can save me and one touch from you can deliver me. And right now, I just want to pray for you that God will touch you and God will hear your cry and God will draw you closer to him in Jesus name. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for this opportunity, oh God, that you have given me, Father, that I can utter my your words, oh God, to these people that are listening, oh God. It, wherever they are listening, whatever country they're in, Lord, whatever they're doing even right now, Father, they're, they're, they're looking to you and they're desiring to, to have Lord Jesus relief from you. They're desiring and they're seeking refuge and they're seeking, oh God, help from you, oh Father God, for vain is the help of man. And they're coming, oh God, to the one that is higher, a higher power, a higher source and they're coming to that power, that strength that is found in Jesus Christ. As your word said, lift up your head, O ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting door, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord that is mighty in battle. He is mighty in your battle today. And Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus that Lord, you will visit them, O God. Father, you see them. You, you have heard heard your cries and you have seen their tears. Oh God, you've seen the weariness. You have seen the tiredness. Oh God, you've seen the struggle. Oh God, that you're facing today. Father, some, oh God, have lost hope. Some seem to have given up Lord, but father, we're, we're asking you God that you remember them in your tender mercies. Oh God, father, God, I say, have mercy upon them. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord Jesus, we're saying, oh God, pour Pour out, Lord, your blood upon us, Lord. Father, and wash us and cleanse us, O oh God, from all our sins. Cleanse us, O oh God, from everything that is not pleasing unto you, Father. And help us, forgive us, Lord, that for the times that we have not trusted in you and put our full faith and confidence in you, Father. Today, Lord Jesus, I pray for everyone, O oh God, listening to the sound of my voice on this channel, Lord. I pray, God, that you will impart grace unto them today. I pray, God, that your mercy, O oh God, will rescue them, Lord. Come 
come and rescue them, O oh God. Let mercy say no to the plans of the enemy. Let mercy say no to depression. Let mercy say no to discouragement. Let mercy say no to sickness. Let mercy say no to the works of the enemy, Father God. We're saying, O oh God, breathe your life upon them. Breathe your strength upon them, O oh Father God, this day, Lord, and give them strength and, and give them, O oh God, courage to take another step. Lord, to move forward in you, Father God, that you will have your own way in their lives, O oh God. Father God, through the power of your Holy Spirit, Lord, I ask of you, O oh God, to lead them to Calvary's cross, lead them to Jesus Christ, that your eyes will be open, Lord, and that they will see Jesus and come to serve him as the true Lord and Savior, O oh God. Father God, I pray that you will bless them today, Lord. Bless them in their going in and bless them in their going out. Even those today, O oh God, that may not have food on their table, Lord. I pray, God, that you will provide food for them, O oh God. Father, those that need shelter, Lord, and financial relief today, Lord, open the doors for them, Lord Jesus. That, Lord Jesus, because you said in your word that you shall supply our needs according to your riches in glory in Christ Jesus. So Father God, I ask of you, O oh God, that you will supply their need, O oh God. And I, I continue, Lord Jesus, to ask of you, O oh God, that they will be strengthened in you, O oh God. And that Lord Jesus, they will find rest and they will find peace and they will find comfort in you, knowing that you are our refuge and you are our strength. Today, Lord Jesus, I give you all glory. I give you all honor and all praise. And I thank you for everyone that is listening even right now. Continue to bless them and let them be still and know that you are God. So Father God, I give you all glory and all honor and praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise be to the name of Jesus, saints of God. I just want to encourage you. Don't give up. Do not give up on God because God will never give up on you. Continue to cry out to him. Continue to cry out to him because God is still on his throne and he's watching over this earth right now. And he knows and he sees exactly what is going on, but he wants you to come to him with a willing heart and a willing mind and lay it down all your worries, all your pains, all your, your, your heavy burden, come and lay them at the feet of Jesus and receive him today in the mighty name of Jesus. So saints of God, I'm just asking you today, if you en enjoy this ch YouTube channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button and continue to tune in for future videos and, and may God bless you and may you have a wonderful day in Christ Jesus. Again, I am Minister Dorette and God bless you and take care of yourself and each other in Jesus name.